All right, listen, we have a day this week that is prime time for letting all of your energetic crap go. I'm gonna tell you all about it. So this Friday has a combination of secret sauce kind of vibes with the opportunity to release anything that's not serving you anymore. So it's a great combination. So circle it on your calendar for this Friday. Why? Because it's a last quarter moon in the sign of Scorpio. So here's what this quick video is going to tackle. One, what does that mean? And two, what are the practical things you can do to really embrace this energy and feel so much lighter after we get through Friday? So follow me, let's go. So why is it important that you release and embrace Friday's energy? Because when you release, you actually create space to bring in the things that you actually want. So releasing is part of the cycle of getting what you want in the long run. So let's take advantage of Friday's energy. Now with this last quarter moon in Scorpio, you may find yourself wanting to release things that are more scorpionic in nature. As a, as a pro tip, you may even wanna look at your natal birth chart if you have it and see where your house is for Scorpio and see if you have any planets in there because that could be a sign of a focus area that your life is asking for uh, release and purging around. Now I'm gonna give you three practical, easy ways you can work with Friday's energy. The first one is what I call a goody bath. Now I personally love using Himalayan salt or Epsom salt, but I also will use therapeutic grade oils and things like rose petals in my bath. So what could you put in your bath water to help you feel at comfort, at ease, to really allow yourself to purge these energies out. So create your goodie bath. Next up, tip number two, I want you to get your pen and paper and journal and here are the things I want you to ask yourself. Number one, what am I letting go of? Number two, why am I surrendering it now? And what has it taught me? The last step in the journaling process to allow yourself to release and let go is once you have those three questions answered, you bless it and from your heart you feel gratitude for everything it has taught you. Gratitude helps to dissolve the energy and that is an important piece of the releasing process. The third thing I want you to try to release your energy is what I call body sweeping. So what I do is I take my hands and I physically sweep my body and I say, anything that is not mine, return to source for healing. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Anything that is not mine, return to source for healing. Be gone, be gone, be gone. And I say it enough times where then I start to feel the energy shift. So pay attention as you're sweeping and you're saying it, really mean it when you say it and send it to source for healing and see how you start to feel lighter just by doing it a few times. So what other themes may be prevalent with this last quarter moon in Scorpio? Things around secrets, endings, hurt feelings, or where you're not living your true passion. So now is the time to make energetic space in your life. I hope you'll join me this Friday for our last quarter moon in Scorpio and release and purge what no longer serves you. Now, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What is it that you'll be releasing? Drop it in the comments, let me know. I would love to hear from you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It really helps me beat this YouTube algorithm. So thanks in advance for that. And feel free to share this video with other people that may also want to release what's no longer serving them this Friday. All right, we will see you next time. Bye.